uh, everybody might have lead screws that are different pitches a pitch is one rotation of this equals how much this moves so if this is 1.25 millimeters if this rotates once a full circle this is going to move forward sorry this is going to move forward 1.25 millimeters that means that your program has to know what your steps per millimeter is that's what steps per millimeter is that's what we're going to fix right here i'm going to link a calculator for all of this in the video description go down scroll down all the way to steps per millimeter lead screw driven systems or whatever your system is you might have something belt driven you're gonna input your motor step angle it's written that it's right it writes that right back here you see how it says 1.8 driver micro stepping i have a full step and i have an m8 lead screw and the pitch of that is 1.25 millimeters enter all that in and it's going to give you your steps per millimeter right here and then you go back into the arduino program this is the stuff that you uh, upload into into here into this one right here and then you're going to open dot ino file this is the arduino file open that there's going to be a bunch of other files we call these libraries this is the main file right here what this does is this just calls those libraries and makes them work so you go to defaults.h you scroll down all the way down and you see defaults x step per millimeter you're going to change that to whatever your steps per millimeter is mine is 160 this is the same 160.00 160.00 160 perfect we click upload right here and then right down here it's going to compile this guy it's just going to do all its thing and it's going to say done uploading right here after that we're going to open up and that unzip it open this and then you're going to open that dot exe right here and then this is going to pop up same com port you're going to hit connect and then all these things are going to pop up you can hit these to zero everything out you can turn on your power supply there we go hit like x plus and then that'll move what you can do to make sure that you have everything correct but you can put a ruler right here and you can set distance to like 10 millimeters you click x plus and then you make sure it's moved 10 millimeters on the ruler so have a reference point on here another thing that we have to fix real quick we have to invert our things real quick so this is our y-axis right when i click on y plus so increase on y it goes down you need to reverse the y-axis again go to default.h and then look up default stepping invert mask this is going to be all the way at the bottom as you can see right here from what i'm understanding these are all boolean bits from right to left this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's on one right now. So we're gonna change that to a zero, invert that. Y axis is B6, which is this one right here. That's a zero right now. We're gonna change that to a one. We're gonna save this, and then we're gonna upload this. You hit upload again. Compiling sketch, give that a couple seconds. Oh, so we're gonna go here, and I think I left the, yep, I left this connected. So we're gonna disconnect right here, and we're gonna hit upload again. Because this is a serial connection, from what I know, because this is a serial connection, only one program can be connected to it at a time. Connect to it. All right, that's connected. So we're going to hit Y plus, and this is going to go up. There we go. See? This is going to be a quick rundown on how we're going to get our Excel file set up, the foam Excel. You're going to want to select the root airfoil and select your tip airfoil as well. And then wingspan is the length of this and then your root cord which was the thickness which is the thickness of that is 200 and here is how thick you want to make your airfoil so we're going to we're going to make that 190 give ourselves or let's make that 180 give ourselves 20 millimeters of space now I'm making a Hershey bar wing so both the root and the tip cord is going to be exactly the same there's going to be no sweep there's going to be no root twist there's going to be no tip twist and etc. There's going to be no dihedral, anhedral, so on and so forth. So the block X position is going to be at zero. This is where, uh, this is in relation to where the string is. Where this string is versus where the block is. So the X, X, Y is it's at zero. And make sure you have some weights on top. Hot wire length is pretty self explanatory. It's how long your uh, string of hot wire is. This is where you want your airfoil to be. So we want our airfoil to be 10 millimeters into the block because we're giving ourselves 20 millimeters of space, right? And this is the second. This is going to be the second wing. Distance dx is where you uh, where you want your airfoil to be on the x-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and click to generate G-code. 
and it's going to give me a type mismatch. You're going to get errors. It'll happen. Just don't don't get stressed out. Go to that root and that tip. These are where your airfoils are stored. And you see that this is in rows B and C, columns B and C. And it's not supposed to be in B and C. So we're going to go ahead and select them both. Control V, because we also know how computers work. The same thing for B and C right here, because we're not living in the past anymore. We don't want to be in B and C. Control X, because we know how computers work. You do not want to control your X. You want to let them live, move on with your life, leave your X's alone. Anyway, so we click to generate G-code again, and bam, look at that. So I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to save this right now. Yes. It, I just want it to show me what's actually going on. So actually, so this, this is what it's look like, what it looks like. Uh, let, me, let me explain these parameters for you guys. Distance DX that it's talking about right here. Distance DX is this X right here. So if you if you change this, it'll change where this first wing is. This second wing is relative to the first wing as well. So if it asks for asks for X axis on this, it's gonna be relative to this. The second wing's Y axis is gonna be relative to the the other side of the block. The wing two two DX DU. This is uh, how far away this stuff is from the first wing. We're gonna keep that at zero because we have no need to move it. I haven't played with these yet. They they look about correct, so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip over them. Now the feeds and speeds. These things are gonna be tuned to your to your machine. So this first two, the vertical and horizontal movement. This is when it's not cutting and it has to travel to some other place. Like right over here, it's gonna travel to the back of the uh, foam block. How fast it travels here. So I keep those at 400 because that's that's pretty fast and my machine can handle that. These two are when it's actually cutting, how fast it moves when it's cutting. So these two are what you have to play around with with your machine and see what works for you. I'm still playing around with mine. I'm still playing around with the temperature, seeing what actually cuts best. Because this right here, this was a pretty small cut, but I did it at the highest temperature at 100 millimeters per second or whatever. And uh, this was supposed to be, the cord was supposed to be 10 millimeters or 100 millimeters. It turned out to be like 90, I think. So that's that's pretty bad. We're trying to, we're trying to do better than that. At this point, we can click to generate G code. You go to your directory, wherever you want to save it. Finals. All right, and then you go to your Gerbil Hotwire controller thing. You know, you feel me? You're going you're gonna to set your temperature. I'm going to set it at 50% right here set temp 11 volts god damn amazing all right so we're gonna load our file SD second block all right everything looks good your zeros are all in place and then we're gonna go ahead and hit play it's gonna give an error right here I still don't know what this means G61 the machine also doesn't know what it means so that means we're both you know we're, we're hanging out here so we're gonna we're gonna click play again Oh crap, oh no, I forgot. I forgot. Here, you see how I put weights on top, right? There is a parameter in here that determines how much this clears the block by. Our clears foam block by 10 millimeters. So right now it's gonna go 10 millimeters above the foam block and start going. Now our stuff is way more than 10 millimeters above the block. We're gonna go go ahead and call it 40 millimeters. Call 45 just to, be, just to be on the safe side. So we're gonna do 45 millimeters. Go ahead and generate again. Now the foam, now it's gonna go a bit higher. Now that I'm looking at it, this 11 volts might be too low. Set the temp to 15. That's going to show you, you know, the tool paths and everything. Play button again. There we go. It's cutting. You, know, you don't learn this in school. Come on, please clear it. Please clear it. Oh, it's not going to clear it. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not cutting fast enough. This, this is normal. This is good. This is healthy. It's the third try. This is, uh... Okay, no, we got it. We got it. We, we're good. We're good. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Compared to what it was last time, 20 volts. Everything's honed. Everything is good. We're going to hit play, and then we're going to hit play again. Please, for the love of God. Look at that. That is. Oh, no, that's not good. It's good. There's nothing wrong with this. It'll, it'll work. It'll be fine. Oh, no, this is not fine at all. I, I didn't realize the wires were so short. I lengthened the wires, I positioned everything correctly. We're just going to go through this one more time. One more time. Play. And we play. Cutting pretty nicely.
All right, so the cut finished. We got we got our we got our we got our we got our wings out. You feel me? The string is flexing way too much. Uh, it's too much flex in the string. So we we probably either have to increase the heat or decrease the decrease the feed rate. It's a bit apparent here as well. You see the leading edge is kind of is it's literally just tuning. Uh, you just tune your machine out, do a couple cuts, test cuts, etc. And yes, yeah, that's, that's that's about it. So. Catch you guys next time.